The Hasselbad True Zoom will take your mobile photography to the next level by offering a 10 times optical zoom and a Xenon flash. Like all the Moto mods, it simply attaches to the rear of your Moto Z with the magnetic sensors. Once attached, the form factor makes it perfect for camera use with the shutter and zoom muttles in the perfect position. It also comes supplies with a quality compact case to carry it when not in use. The Moto Z will recognize true zoom when attached and you can choose if you wish to use the shutter button to focus and take the shot or the on-screen controls. The built-in 10x zoom gives you far more control over your shots and of course adds more depth of field. It will of course work for both still pictures and videos. I was a little surprised they had not managed to fit an additional battery into the grip as Moto have on their other mods, but perhaps they felt this would increase the weight and thus balance when it was in use. The Xenon flash is very bright and will make a marked difference to the shots you are able to take in low light. All of the phone's camera controls such as the white balance, ISO and shutter speed are all available whilst using the Hasselblad but the auto mode does such a very competent job in taking the best photo, so I mainly kept this turned on. I found the zoom to work well and focus quickly in most conditions, although it did struggle with macro focus. A point certainly to watch out for is if you use the video function and if you zoom in during recording, the noise of the motor is noticeable upon playback. So you'll either zoom in before and then not zoom in further during the recording, or you will dub with music afterwards to avoid this. Given its price, this is only going to be of interest to those who are keen to improve the quality of shots you can achieve. But given its features, such as the 12 megapixel CMOS sensor, the ability to shoot in raw format, and the two mics for clearer stereo sound pickup, it really will take your photos to the next level. As someone who has a DSLR but rarely ever takes it with me, this could be a sensible alternative to improve my shots and yet not have the bulk of a large camera to carry.